Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl Brit Reacts, and today, well today we're reacting to SNL's Midday News. Let's see what they have to say. This is the morning, and welcome back to WANU Midday News. Coming up, the mayor's office announced a bold new plan to revamp the city's infrastructure. And it's about time. But first, yet another gas station has fallen prey to an armed robbery. A Shell station in the 4,000 block of Pulaski Highway was robbed around 11.45 a.m. this morning, making that a total of seven gas stations to be attacked in the last week. Ooh, scary stuff. And we're told the suspect remains at large, but authorities believe they now have a credible description of the perp. The suspect, described as a white male... Ooh, love it! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I was sitting here like, this just feels like the real news. Like, I, I'm not seeing where we're going here. I cannot. First of all, shout out to all the anchors that have spoken so far. I think all of them. They all sound like real news anchors. And I know that's, like, not an easy voice to, like, do. It's like a learned voice for a lot of people, right? Like, so the fact that they all, I mean, they're just great actors on SNL, so whatever. But the fact that she's, like, it's a white perp and the black folks are like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> like, It's, it's really like the attitude of like, it, it, like thank goodness it wasn't it wasn't who we expected. I guess I don't know. That was so funny. I didn't expect that, but I didn't know. Like I'm like waiting. I'm like, is this really just supposed to be a news report? Okay. Anyway. Love it. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? What? What are you two celebrating? Oh, nothing. We're just glad that we know what the criminal looks like. And he ain't one of us. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, the suspect... The white guy. ...was last spotted fleeing the scene on foot. So anyone with this information is being asked to contact the MPD immediately. Yes. That's it? Help us catch this white criminal. <laughs> That's all they're going to say is he's other white? news, a Ponzi scheme has shaken some of Miami's wealthiest residents. That's one of y'all for show. <laughs> Clement Smith. That's one of y'all for show. <laughs> Wait. Serious question, though. I have a serious question. Have you ever seen anyone other than the typical Ponzi scheme person perform a, a Ponzi scheme. I guess that's what they're saying. Like, <laughs> by saying for show, that's what she's saying, right? Like, absolutely, like, not one of us. It's like, what? I only know of, like, one big Ponzi scheme, and that was, uh, what was his name, Madoff? So I don't have a, I don't have a horse in this race. I couldn't tell you, but I just think that the, imp the implication here is, have you ever seen anyone other than, <laughs> but why are they only saying white man? That's it, we don't get his height, his hair color, his eye color, what he was wearing, we just get white man? Like, what? What's happening? Miami's wealthiest residents. That's one of y'all for show. <laughs> Clement Smith of Clement Smith Investment Securities is accused of committing this egregious white collar crime. Right there in the name. <laughs> Smith is said to have been operating a multi-billion dollar Ponzi scheme. No, you know black people ain't got that kind of money. <laughs> he was arrested this morning in Boca Raton. his mugshot and he's not he's black <laughs> this is full of so much stereotypical goodness just laughter she's like we don't have that kind of money and then i mean girl what <laughs> you don't. that's the whole point you don't have the money that is the whole point <laughs> but somehow they have his mugshot on file ready to go this is my stomach hurts <laughs> And look, look at, at that. her face. She has to pass gas. He's black. Really? What? Okay. okay. So I guess we tied, you know. <laughs> one of ours for one of yours. No, uh, this is ridiculous. No one's keeping score. Okay. We have an update on that tropical storm we've been tracking. Let's hear from WANU weatherman Dennis Jones. Dennis? Thanks, Pam. What we've previously been calling a tropical storm has upgraded to a Category 4 hurricane. It's destroying just about everything in its path with its incredibly high winds. Now, we're calling this one Hurricane Chet, and that's a white man's name if I've ever heard one. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! And that makes... No! Hold up. Read the lead, baby! Back in the game! 
Gang, gang, gang. Oh, gang, gang. No way. That doesn't count. Hurricanes aren't white. Well, unless they name Chet. Right. Okay, can we move on from this petty game, please? Oh, because y'all... I have never met a Chet. Oh, wait, Tom Hanks' son. Isn't his name Chet? Isn't Tom Hanks' son named Chet? I know this because he was, like, all in the news, like, a few years ago because... They claimed he was appropriating, like, Jamaican culture because he was using, like, a Jamaican accent. Everybody was like, mm, pretty sure he grew up in America. What's going on, bro? Wagwan. <laughs> Wagwan. <laughs> Isn't his name Chet? This is so funny to me. I'm having a blast. Well, unless they name Chet. Right. Okay. Right. Can we move on from this petty game, please? <laughs> Y'all losing. Oh, how, how convenient. <laughs> okay, let's just get back to the news. A Fort Lauderdale man was apprehended outside of a... Cracker Barrel <laughs> for cutting brake lines on a dozen bird scooters. Well, see, only white people got that kind of time, okay? <laughs> okay, yeah. He's white. So what? So now we're down to one. Mm. It's not looking good for y'all today. <laughs> In other news, a shopper was apprehended by security at Oceanside Mall for assaulting a man who stepped on his Air Jordans. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did you say Air Jordan? Uh-oh. Oh. That's uh -oh. black for sure. Whoa. <laughs> you know, I knew... Why did he have to dab? Why did he have to dab? Why did he have to dab, y'all? But as soon as I saw it. Right. Okay, okay, and how about this one? A local woman attacked a cashier at a nail shop after they refused to take her welfare card. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Police say oh, Lord. they're looking for a 19-year-old white... Damn it! <laughs> That's three, baby! Oh, nice! All right, nice. let's get that back. Police say a Latino man. Uh, uh, skip no. that one. We don't need <laughs> that. Okay, how about, how about this? How about a man on a rock climbing trip was mauled? She said climbing with the B. The B is silent, guys. How about this? How about a man on a rock climbing yeah. trip was mauled by a bison for the second time in three months? See, y'all don't learn. Y'all don't like to learn. Okay, just keep learn. reading. Keep reading. This incident happened in the Utah National State Park. Ugh, not <laughs> looking good. Family of the man now identified as Laquan Jenkins. Yes! <laughs> Baby, what are you doing? Well, how do we know Laquan is not white? How do we know? How do we know? <laughs> Laquan, you want to know why? Because his last name is Jenkins. Not Jenkins. Jenkins. <laughs> Laquan Jenkins. Yes. <laughs> Baby, what is you doing? What an upset. What is you doing? A Laquan rock climbing in Utah. That's okay. We still tied up, baby. We tied up. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Next one takes this is it. Okay. It's foolish. A man dressed as the Joker. Damn it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You know that word. Good yes. day. Right. Good day. Good day. If the news was more like that, I would watch it more. That was so funny. Oh my, I mean, just just reeling into every stereotype there could be between black and white people. That was hilarious. And if you didn't laugh, check your pulse, okay? Go and have the day you deserve. Peace. Hey y'all, before the video ends, I just want to let you know, merch is here. Well, it's coming, it's just a few days. <laughs> The Have the Day You Deserve collection is on the way. It is available July 4th for all Patreon members and July 11th for everyone. I have left a preview here on the screen for you. I hope you are as excited as I am and I hope to get to see you in the merch. Go and have the day you deserve.